and we're back guys tennis in a minute i'm your host good energy i'm in the studio tonight and we are taking a look at my top 10 players to look out for for the upcoming 2024 season number 10 noma noha akuyu that's right guys she is a german tennis player of nigerian descent that's right guys and she is going to be a problem on the tour in coming years now she just turned 20 that's right ladies and gentlemen now my top 10 list i made this list a couple weeks ago so she just barely made the cutoff this list is going to focus on teenagers and at number 10 barely making the list noma noha agugu she's five foot seven and of course now she's 20 years old after recently having a birthday listen guys she's played 170 matches for her professional career she's won 104 of them 70 percent of her wins come on the clay surface last year she had a 42 win clay season in the last two years she's won 60 matches on clay She's having a 500 win season, 31 wins, 31 losses. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, she won 50 matches last year. And why do I think she's gonna have an amazing 2024 season? Let's go back to Hamburg, Germany, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, she made the championship match after taking out the clay veteran, Laura Pagassi in the first round storm hunter in the second round martina treva trevison are you crazy man martina trevison is one of the best clay players of this generation diana snyder she might even be on this list ladies and gentlemen and she made the championship match against russ where she took russ to a second set tiebreak and russ we all know is an amazing clay player that's part of the reason why I think she's going to have an amazing 2024 season. But let's look at the serve, ladies and gentlemen. Her stats are unofficial because she still plays a mixed schedule between the main tour and the lower level. Majority of her matches consisting of the lower level. But her serve is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. She's got a lot of power. She's listed at 5'7", however, I think that's possibly an older measurement from the juniors and we all know when it comes to professional tennis and height that's probably the most inaccurate statistic or fact about a player there is that's right ladies and gentlemen whatever their height is in terms of listing you can bet it's probably inaccurate uh, I think she's probably closer to five foot eleven that's just my personal opinion I have yet to see her but I can just tell by watching her play that she's definitely taller than five foot seven. She's got a great serve, it's powerful guys. And again, she likes to follow it up with the left-handed forehand. She's got good range on her shots, she's got good depth, but she's gotta work on her control. Much like players like Camilla Georgie, Diana Yastremka, she has the power and the range on her shots, she just has to work on the control. And that's gonna come with more practice, more training, and of course, playing more matches. Now her nickname is Noms. Let's just call her Noms, guys. She is a member of the Porsche Junior team, and it's great to see her have success in Germany. That's right, making the Hamburg Championship against Russ. But listen, guys, she got her big start in Stuttgart, much like another player that I'm a huge fan of on the channel, Veronica Kudamitova. She got her huge start in Stuttgart as well. Now listen guys, she says her favorite surface to play on is hard, but right now a lot of her success and results is coming up. It's actually coming from the clay surface. Much like Anastasia Potapova who prefers to play on hard, she even said it herself. She does not have top spin. She prefers to play aggressive on hard and she feels that clay is not one of her strong surfaces. However, she won her first main tour championship on the clay surface. And a lot of players realize that after a while, they realize that the surface they prefer may not necessarily be the surface that brings them results. Take a look at someone like Marketa Von Drosova, Wimbledon champion. She would have never dreamed that she would win her first slam or a slam at all on the grass surface. 
Now, I do like the fact that Andra Petkovic is working with Noms. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to see Noms play more doubles. That's right, to get more net experience. Improving her two-way play, becoming a much better vertical player, and being able to defend the short balls. I think the pairing up with veteran German player Andrea Petkovic, Hall of Famer, she's now retired. I think it's a great match, right? Not only was Andrea a great crowd pleaser, but just her charisma on the court, her ability to win over the crowd. I think Noms can really learn a lot from Petkovic. And the reality here is Petkovic played a lot of doubles. I would love to see Noms play more doubles. I think you have to really get in where you fit in. And playing doubles right now is a great opportunity for any player outside of the top 100 to gain rankings points, get themselves in these tournaments. You never know what happens. Someone withdraws, pulls out, you might find yourself in a draw. And it's very tough to get into these WTA 250s. The tour is so competitive. And with her ranking right now, outside of the top 150, playing more doubles is a great opportunity to get herself in these arenas. So working with Petkovic, I think it's going to be amazing. Nams is on this top 10 list because of a couple key reasons. Her serve, very powerful. She just has to fine tune it. And I'm telling you guys, she is going to blow opponents off of the court. Her forehand, very powerful. Again, just needs a little bit of fine tuning. Combine that with her athletic ability. Noms is going to be a real threat. In my opinion, I think on clay for now, even though she does prefer to play on hard, I think it's been a little tougher to get into these hard tournaments. So she's playing clay and she's doing a good job of it. Let's just be honest. Now, as I mentioned, she only had a few matches on the main tour, but of those matches, she was able to average three aces per match. And if she just controls her double faults a little bit, I think she can easily average five to six aces per match. She was able to win 62% of her service games while winning 61% of her first serves. 34% of all the return points she won on the main tour. That's pretty darn good, guys. I mean, some players inside the top 10 don't even average that much as a return win percentage. I think she's got solid fundamentals. Again, I would love to see her control her range a little bit and just be a little bit more patient. However, that strong one-two punch, that left forehand followed by her rocket serve, I see similarities of possibly a younger Arena Sabalenka. I do see it there, guys. I'm telling you, Noms is very powerful. And with fine tuning, sky's the limit for her. But she already has some very impressive wins and her athletic flashes of greatness. I've seen it in several matches so far. Trust me, I have a really good eye for spotting talent and Noms is someone to watch out for. Tennis is a very stressful sport. And with Noms finally getting a dose of the big stage, at home in Germany, I think that's going to help propel her to newer heights in the upcoming year. Her numbers show that she's very competitive, even with some of the bigger names on tour. And having a stable team to travel the tour and go on the road with is all she needs to be successful. And she already has notable wins over players that are already doing great things on the tour. Laura Sigmund last year in Germany. That was a great win. She took out Sarah Bajek, ladies and gentlemen, who's playing well. Julia grabbed her. Marie Carly. And let's not forget what she did this year, ladies and gentlemen, in Germany, making it to the championship match where she would eventually lose to Russ. But she took out Diana Snyder, Martina Trevisan, Storm Hunter, and Laura Pagassi. She also beat Ocean Dodden. So watch out, ladies and gentlemen, for Noma, Noha Okuyu, Noms. Number 10 on my top 10 list of ladies to watch out for for this upcoming season. Tennis in a minute. Like the video, show some love, and stay tuned for number nine.